Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another little out and about video for you guys today. This one brings me out to Glendale, California for a good old Dragon Fest. I always gotta come down here to support the Martial Art History Museum and Michael Matsuda, the founder of the museum. But as you guys can see, this is a charity event. All money that's raised here is going to help keep the Martial Art History Museum open. Uh, we'll be heading on in there. There's some cool martial artists supposed to be here today, actors, all sorts of cool stuff. If you're into martial art movies and the martial art culture, this is the kind of con you guys should come to. Dragonfest is guys is that you can see different demonstrations on different you know cultures I'm now with the Queen, Cynthia Rothrock, right now, over here at Dragon Fest. Girl, a lot of your movies are coming out through Vinegar Syndrome lately. Is there any other plans of other ones coming out other than like New York Ninja, Riding Wrongs, and is there any other anything else coming out? Yes, uh, actually they're getting ready to come out with Yes Madam, which is really cool. And um, I've done three new films this year, Pray Your Breath, uh, taken from Rio Bravo, and uh, No Time to Think. So they're all new. I was watching Writing Wrongs the other day with my friend for a movie night, and we noticed in a couple scenes that you had a stunt double, and I was just like, me and my friend were like, Cynthia could probably do this stuff, was it like a safety thing? No, I think on Writing Wrongs, what was it? Was it uh, a high fall or something? Yeah, like we're, like we're little tiny things. And yeah. Like, yeah, usually, uh, like, um, I do like 90%, but sometimes they'll they'll have a guy that's like a stunt, a stunt guy, it's a guy. No, I know, I know, I get it. Usually it's like off high buildings, but I have jumped off a lot of high buildings myself from yeah. there, and uh, got hurt many, many times, but yeah, and it's easy to see if it's not me, because it's, it's a guy in a bad ring. <laughs> yeah, because it was you and Bial that did one of the stunts that I saw, I'm like, what? I paused it, I'm like... Oh uh, yeah, the beginning, the yeah. beginning, yeah. I thought that was cool. It's actually funny. Yeah, but thank you, Cynthia, for giving me a time of your day. I really do appreciate it. Over here at Dragon Fest with my bro right here. What's cracking, man? How's it going, brother? You're Good over here you. promoting a new, we are a new promoting uh, web series you're doing. A new limited series. We have finished the pilot. We are releasing the pilot very soon. Wait, what is it about? So it's about the rivalry of mixed martial arts versus traditional martial arts. So it's a very topical subject in the martial arts world today, you know. And uh, while we, we respect both forms of martial arts, we're, the whole message behind this is an anti-bullying message. So that's the great thing to it as well. So now we've got the pilot complete. We've got it all ready to release. And now we're doing an Indiegogo campaign to fund the follow-up episodes. Our goal is to shoot either two or three more episodes. We are in the writing stages right now and hoping to start filming episode two by fall. So how they gonna, where, where can they find you on Indiegogo? You can find us on the barcode here. Yeah. And also you can find us on Instagram at the Dojo Series. And you can also find us on Facebook. You can find us on YouTube at B12 Action. Some support on Indiegogo. If you guys like martial arts, help support my friends, man. If you like, if you love any martial Arts movies going back to the 80s, 90s, or even today, you're gonna love what we're doing. Dragon Fest is a different kind of environment compared to like Comic Cons and everything else. You never know who you're gonna see. Like the gentleman right there in the wheelchair was Pat Morita's stunt double in the Karate Kid movies. Now I am with the founder of the museum and one of the creators of Dragon Fest, Michael Matsuda. How you doing, my brother? Uh, thank you for being here today, Brandon. I appreciate it very much. A 
here we are at Dragon Fest, the greatest martial arts convention in the world. Yeah, the first time, what, in two years? Yeah, this is actually two years we haven't had it. Yeah. This is really our third year. Nobody's seen each other, but here we are gathered together in full force to restart the martial arts. Yeah, man, and if you guys ever want to help support the Martial Art History Museum, you can by donating in the link down below. You have it on the website, right? Right. Uh -huh. Go to mamuseum.com. We're looking to move to the city of Glendale, and we need your support. Yeah, guys, make sure you guys check them out, show them some love. And for you guys that don't know, Dragon Fest also holds seminars with these martial art legends here. Uh, like they're, ha they're about to have one with Benny the Jet Ukides, uh, who was also in Meals on Wheels, did some movies with Jackie Chan, uh, just happened to be my martial art instructor when I was a kid. All right, with your left leg, step forward to 12 o'clock, go. Both feet turn to one o'clock. Right hand touching your jaw, left hand up, both knees slightly bent. All right, hey, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. We're just having fun. Your head becomes the center of a V. So your head will go to 11 o'clock. Right shoulder, right hip, right heel will come forward and right back. Ready? Bob left. Bob left. Bob left. Ready? When I say Bob right, head goes to 1 o'clock. Bob right. Bob right. Bob right. When I say weave, you okay, you collapse your knees six inches and you give me a U. Weave from right shoulder go from right to left. Weave from left to right. Weave. Weave. Throw a sweep. Okay. This time. Throw it back here, go. Again, go. <coughs> faster, go. Okay, faster, go. So the idea of bone on bone is what you're gonna deal with in the street. And you're not gonna go out there and wear your shit guards unless you're gonna get a fashion statement. <laughs> the point I'm making is, learn to catch the leg and slow it down. Because if I just put it up like this, we're gonna hit bone on bone. I guarantee you, you wake up in pain. I do see a physical media booth over here at Dragon Fest. We got some Blu-rays and DVDs for $2. There's a $3 section going on over here. We got Valleywood Inc. Uh, up in the house going on right there. So what are you here promoting, sir? Doc Savage, Man of Copper. It's not, it's not this one. Okay. It's not that one. No, no, uh -oh. it's not that one. This is a Sharknado of superheroes. Okay, are you, are you, ma you making this one? Yeah. When is it coming out and where can people find you? Uh, next year, and they can find me, uh, Chris Mackey, on YouTube and Instagram, Mac Guest Stars. Okay, make sure you guys check him out. He puts out some cool stuff. Are these some of your movies right here? Yeah, these are all ones that I did. So, uh, what, what, what would you say is one of the, your favorite ones that you made? My newest one? Mind of Terror? That's one with the biggest name. This is the newest one. Okay. Bud Boys Drive-In of Terror 3. Is it like an anthology or something? Yeah, but they're, um, uh, what do you call it? Intellectual properties, so they're like TV pilots. Oh, I gotcha. Now here with my co-star from An Hour to Kill, Mr. Mel Evan Novak, son. How you doing, Mr. Mr. Novak? Well with my soul. Yeah. Do, do you know my, you know our buddy Aaron? Is, is in the, in the, is uh, writing a new script right now. And uh, I think we have a perfect part for you in it. When, when and if we ever, you know, get funds, funding for it. Sure. Yeah. I like Aaron. You know, he really did a great job in that film that we did. Yeah, an hour to kill, yeah. And so it's always cool. He's a good dad. I, I raised, I raised two daughters and he, he, he has the one he's. Yeah. He's a good guy. Still wandering around Dragon Fest, and uh, we have a bunch of Jedi's here. Who knows who's kicking butt? Who knows who's gonna die? But if you want to buy a lightsaber, Dragon Fest is the place to be. With the dragon himself, Don the Dragon Wilson. What's going on, my man? Uh, you know what? It's been a great day so far. Uh, all the people are coming in. And, you know, because you never know with COVID that people are gonna stay away from an event yeah. like this. You know, but uh, but no, all the people are coming in, and everybody seems to be uh, you know uh, having a good time and enjoying themselves. So uh, I'm having fun. This is one of my favorite parts of, about Dragon Fest is you and Cynthia and stuff. Oh, well, thank and of course, you. Michael thank Matsuda you. and stuff, that the founder of the Who? museum. Michael Matsuda? Yeah, who's that guy? Never heard of him. Yeah, no, but dude, I, f I find it to be really cool that, you know, Vinegar Syndrome has been putting out yes. some movies of yeah, yours. They're, they're, they like doing re-releases and they've done a few of mine, so I'm, I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. You know, they do a um, uh, kind of like an upgraded uh, uh, high 
high def version of uh, old movies from the 90s. Are they going to be doing Bloodfist? Is there any news on that? That I don't know. Uh, you know, I know Roger Corman sold the rights to Bloodfist, though. Oh, sorry. So, a, he doesn't even own the rights anymore. A, a Chinese producer bought the rights. So, because basically they bought them because they wanted to uh, have a TV series called Blood, Bloodfist. Okay. And uh, uh, I would be involved in it, of course. Oh, you know? yeah. And then um, we were going to shoot it in Beijing. And then Trump had the trade wars and conflict with China. Yeah. And you know, there's still a communist country. So if you have a political problem, then all the businesses are, are cut off. And, yeah. And uh, yeah, they were going to produce a TV series called, uh, based on Blood Fist. And uh, now it's been put, put in uh, limbo, I guess. Does Roger Corman own uh, Ring of Fire? Or was that a different company? No, no, a different company. That was PM Entertainment. Okay. Yeah. So is there any, anything cool new that you're working on that you want to let people know? Uh, no, no. But I, I, I am working again. I played an American Indian in a movie uh, called Escape from Rio Bravo. Is there anything you want to plug out there and let people know where to follow you, Instagram, Facebook? Well, if it's Facebook, you can go to uh, Don Wilson on Facebook. But uh, there's a couple of other seminars going on here as well. Uh, Don the Dragon Wilson's about to do one. You guys look pretty darn good. Of course, you took the Benny your Kita seminar, some of you. So you've already got everything you need to know. But elbows in, right? Hands up. Relax. One shoulder forward, one back. If I see two shoulders, this is what I call open. You're open because you saw your strike. What I want, I'm trying to hit all this. As soon as I do this, watch. Like you've got a lot of vulnerable stuff to hit if I square shoulders. Now, as soon as I do this, all of a sudden I just take it all away. You got to somehow come around me to hit the groin or and it, and look. If something comes right at you and you're you got two shoulders like this, something comes right at you, you go like this, you'll fall right over. You get no no. But but if you're in this position, something comes right at your head. You just do this. Is, is there anything that you think you can teach me in martial art wise? Oh, is there anything you can teach me? Yeah, you know, he loved the martial art. Yes. And he loved the Kung Fu movie. Yes. Yeah. So he's uh, my good friend. So well, everyone who knows that I'm the real lead of the Wong Wei Hong is a very, very uh, big uh, warrior in the martial art world. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the southern the Surum Temple, it's a hooky. So it's a different from the uh, another new model uh, Wusu. Yeah. So this is very easy to okay. understand. Yeah. You look it. Yeah. Okay. You, you know the hour is the uh, with the Tai Chi, with the element, with the heart and song. Yeah. There are many different the, 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 uh, uh, techniques. So this is very easy to uh, uh, understand the know. Okay. It's a in and out. In and out. Okay. Yeah. Up and out. Right. Yeah. Just yeah. like easy. Yeah. Yeah. Up and down? Yeah, in and out. Okay. In and out. Oh, 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 oh. hey! Oh, oh, oh. You coming? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, in and out. Yeah. 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 So this is a very good yeah. circle. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Well, wait, what about this? Yeah. It's a circle. Yeah. It's a circle? Yeah, let's a circle. Oh, yeah. Right in the throat. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is well, very the easy to understand the whole car time. It's a very fast and a very dimensional. Yeah. Okay. So you you not the touch by the massage. Oh. Yeah. 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 No, no use. No. You are the power, the fucking, the in. Yeah. So this internal the chi. Yeah. So you also use the whole body. Yeah. The animal. Yeah. He coming home. Oh oh oh. Oh oh oh. Oh sorry. Oh. Sorry. How oh, dare you sir. So How dare you? How yeah. dare you? You are my friend. Yeah, we're friends. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too much. I don't think you guys know how cool that was. Uh, getting the mess around with Ching Ching Li. Hopefully I said his name right. I, I, I probably mispronounced it. But he was in the movie, of course, The Kung Fu Hustle. He was in Snake in the Eagle Shadow with Jackie Chan back in the day. One of my favorite martial art movies ever. Do you know how cool it is for a person like me that loves the martial arts, movies, and stuff like that, getting to talk to and hang out with some of these people? It is really super rad. Came across one of the coolest booths at this uh, event right here. The nerd booth that has physical media and nerd stuff everywhere. 
a Japanese Goonies uh, program from back in the day. That's super rad. That's 40 bucks. Martial art VHS tapes they got going on. Some uh, Kung Fu big boxes. And protectors, too. I didn't know they had protectors for those. But uh, there's like a whole bunch of different like stuff going on in here. Uh, VHS-wise, DVD, Blu-ray, everywhere. But gotta look at some of like, the VHS tapes because they're, they're the more rare look at, you know, like artwork from back in the day that I remember for the most part. Not all of it, but there's this right here. Look at this. This is something like right up Garrett, Born to be Rad sleeve. What's it called? Uh, Players of Roller Boy, of the Roller Boys with Corey Haim and Patricia Arquette. I don't think I've ever seen or heard of this before. Well, guys, Billy Blanks just showed up in the house right here. You know Billy Blanks, the also the star of Blood Fist. Uh, a whole bunch of different great martial art movies all up in the house. Hell yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Look at you packing up all your autographs that you just got from Billy Blanks. Oh yeah. Look at that, man. You're like getting up all your vinegar syndrome goodness. I am now with the main man that pretty much, I believe, started Dragon Fest. I did. Gerald Okamura, uh, right here. And then you, you ended up giving it, or Michael Matsuda took it over? Yeah, he asked me, because uh, we had it running for like 90 years. Yeah. And then we had a big break in between. And Michael felt that this was a interesting uh, award for the, for the museum. It pertains a lot of martial art. This is, for me, this was not a martial art event. Yeah. This was like an entertainment thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the beginning, a lot of people thought that this, I had a tournament, martial art Tur yeah. karate tournament involved with this. And I made sure that this was not a tournament. Yeah. This was strictly for entertainment. Yeah, kind of, so, kind of like Comic Con, but for the more well, something like that. The thing is, you know, uh, the celebrities that volunteer their time, uh, some of them were not martial arts, but the thing, martial artists. Uh, but when uh, I first started, the people that I knew were martial art people, as well as martial art celebrities, or yeah. doing all the the B movie. The B movie, yeah. And so we started out with uh, a very, uh, what do you call, uh, celebrities, you know? Yeah. You know, not, not the big names kind of stuff. So. No, I got you. But yeah, just like family. All the people that knew me and I knew them kind of deal. So yeah. we started out real small and then uh, eventually it became one of those uh, events that uh, you should be there yeah. the one day in the year. Uh, and so I was getting a lot of response from stunt people. Yeah. And at that time, uh, I think the beauty of all that back then was that a lot of these guys was working on a project. Yeah. And they might, you might see them on TV. Mm -hmm. And then you come to the event and you can see them live and you talk to them, you take a picture with them. Yeah. So I think that, that was a little different then, back then. I, I think it's really cool to see you here every year. Because when I, when I was growing up watching, you know, watching movies and getting into them, I saw your face and a lot of them. Like, you know, The Power Within was one of the first ones I ever saw that had, me, had your face ingrained in my head. And of course, you know, a whole bunch of slew of other movies. But what was it that got you started in acting and being in films well that's a that's a kind of funny story I'll share with you yeah uh, my instructor uh, while I was taking uh, got invited to participate in a Kung Fu series an episode yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay so this is back uh, like in 75 76 I go to class he calls me over and he says hey Gerald I got invited to, to do an episode on Kung Fu TV series. Mm -hmm. And he says, I don't want to go. I don't want it. Mm. So I want you to go in my place. Not knowing the business. Yeah. I said, yeah, okay. Yeah. You know? So he said, okay, tomorrow you head for 
Warner Brothers, you check in there and you tell them that you're taking my place. That's, that's so and cool. that's how I started. I knew one of the technical advisors there, so he recognized me. We didn't know each other. Mm -hmm. The technical advisor at that time was David Chow. He's a judo man. Yeah. He was the technical advisor on that. That's so, so cool. I, so yeah, so I explained to him, hey, you know, I don't know the business, uh, but uh, my instructor, Jimmy H. Wood, didn't want the job. Yeah. So he sent me, and he goes, yeah, yeah, we'll lose you. Yeah. You know, so that's how I started in the business. And that's so cool. And the other thing is I like about you and that, you know, coming over here to your table at Dragon Fest, I always noticed that when people like bring stuff up to you, like your pictures and stuff, you always are signing for free. Oh. Because like I, I always see other people at conventions that charge that start charging more and more. What makes you, you know, stay like that? For me, I think the biggest uh, uh, reason behind it is paying back. Yeah? You know, uh, these people support it. And, and you know, long time ago when I was working on a night Rider, yeah. David Hasselhoff, he approached me, one of our talk, one of our talk stories, uh, he, he said to me, be kind to the fans, yeah. the fans will keep you, put you there and keep you there, yeah. you know, so it's almost like paying back. It's, it's, it's getting kind of loud, but I'd like to say thank you so much oh. for taking the time to talk to me. It's You're the been, man. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Well, everyone, Dragon Fest is coming to a close. I had a great time at this, I believe, 17th annual uh, Dragon Fest. I've only ever been coming for like the last, what, four, four events, three, three or four events, and they're going strong. It's the first time they were back since the pandemic. Had a good time getting to meet and talk to different martial art actors and you know witnessing different culture you know like on stage different performances and things like that watching you know legends like you know Donald Dragon Wilson give seminars on you know how to defend yourself you know if, if something happens to you in the street you know different things like that super cool to see Benny the Jedi Quides, uh over here again and uh, let's head on home I'm gonna show you guys the stuff I got autographed. It's the next day. Uh, got back home from Dragon Fest last night. Got a good rest. Woke up. It was the next morning and stuff. And I'm about to show you guys what I picked up over there. And I got some really cool things to show you guys. Uh, some things um, I got like um, what is this? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you these ones first. So I got these from one of one of my cool friends uh, and a viewer of the channel that had a booth there. Uh, and he was talking about some of his uh, short films that he's made. And uh, he gave me like a little collection of some of his movies here. Uh, it was called uh, Bug Boys, Driving Off Terror, Episode 2. Right here, I believe he has them on YouTube sometimes. Uh, online, it's like, you know, 15 minute short films. He gave me a Blu-ray copy of uh, Bug Boys, Driving of Terror, Part 3. It's like, this is a Blu-ray one, right there. And... Uh, Minds of Terror. This is a feature-length movie uh, that my friend, um, I believe, purchased or purchased the rights to. That was made back in uh, 2003. That didn't like. There was like no no copyright behind it or anything like that. And it has like Joe Estevez in it. And my friend uh, has owns the rights to this movie. And um, I'm, I'm gonna check it out soon. And I want to say thank you so much for letting me, you know, uh, give me copies of your of the movies that you've uh, you had at your table. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we have a couple of really cool uh, things I got signed today. Uh, first off, uh, I, I wish I had like a poster or like a mini poster, uh, you know, for this actor to sign, but I didn't. Uh, I only could find like full size things online before I went, you know, before I was going to go to the convention. I'm like, I have no room for another full size poster. But um, I, I got to meet um, uh, Chi Chu Ling, uh, who's you know who was a, a martial arts master who was in the you know kung fu hustle. You saw him in the video uh, for a moment, you know, dressed dressed in white, you know, showing me showing me some moves and stuff. And uh, he had one of one of his newer movies on his table that he was that he's in, and he signed it for me. It's called Made in Chinatown. I uh, never heard of this one before. 
Uh, but he's he's on the he's on the back cover right there, like yelling and screaming. It looks like. Uh, I have no idea if this one's any good, but it, it could be. But he auto he autographed it for me. This is one of the only things he had on his table, uh, right there, along with some like you know shirts and stuff like that. Uh, I also went up to my my boy, uh, Don the Dragon Wilson. Uh, I've always been a big fan of his since the movie Magic Kid and of course Blood Fist and Ring of Fire and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he had uh, he was signing signing autographs for for free uh, at this convention. And you know how hard you know you know how like how weird that is to go to a convention where people either sign for like five you know sign autographs for like five or ten bucks or free compared to like horror conventions where the starting price is like forty and up you know for different things. But uh, yeah, Don the Dragon Wilson. Um, I gave him I, I gave him ten bucks. He uh, gave me a copy of his newest movie, one of his newer movies that he has, uh, called Plan Mr. Getty, uh, right here, and he signed it. He signed this one right here, and uh, yeah, I've never seen this one before. It could be cool, uh, but he also signed um, some other stuff for me, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Uh, he he also signed this right here, my Blood Fist, uh, one and two double feature DVD set, uh, right here. And I uh, thought that was kind of badass. I was trying to look for like a like a mini poster uh, for this movie, but I, I couldn't find it uh, anywhere. I wish, really wish I did. But there was another person that showed up at the end, at the very end of Dragon Fest, like 20 minutes before they were going to close the doors and stuff. And that was Billy Blanks, the other co-star of uh, of uh, the first uh, Blood Fist movie right here. So I have Don, I have Don the Dragon Wilson and Billy Blanks uh, autograph on this uh, DVD right there, which I think is cool. And I brought this on over just in case Billy Blank showed up. And my old VHS of uh, Tough and Deadly right here. So I got Billy Blanks to sign it. You guys know Billy, uh, you know, Mr. Tybo uh, himself from the 90s and things like that. And Vinegar Syndrome is starting to put out a lot of his movies. Actually, a lot of these guys' movies, like Donald Dragon Wilson, Cynthia Rothrock and stuff. They're putting out a lot of their stuff uh, out on, on Blu-ray. And I think that's rad. But uh, I got my little, bo my little box here. Of other autograph stuff I, I brought to get signed, uh, this other one right here is the Blu-ray I bought recently. Uh, one of the la one of the last times I was in Las Vegas, and that was a movie called Force Five. Um, this one right here uh, stars my old kung fu master Benny the Jet Ukides, and I had I had him sign it uh, right there on the top next to him. I think that's really cool. Benny the Jet did some movies with Jackie Chan back in the day, things like you know things like that. And I also got this. Uh, two more items here, guys. Uh, I also got this one right here from the man who pretty much started Dragon Fest. Uh, he's, he's like the man that you, when, you, when you saw him in the video, you're probably like, dude, I know that guy. He was in movies like everywhere back in the day. And that is Gerald Okamura. Hopefully I, I pronounced his last name right. Uh, but he was, I got to interview him for a little bit today. Got to talk to him. He, uh, he signs autographs for free as well uh, at, the, at the convention. This is from um, what's it called Showdown in Little Tokyo. Right here, he was also in a, you know, the John Carpenter one, uh, two, I, I, keep, I keep forgetting all the different movies he was in. He was in so many, man, so many. But the piece of the, piece of the resistance is something I wanted to get signed for a long time, but I, 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 I always had trouble finding it in, in you know, my, um, my, you know, storage area or different boxes and stuff throughout the years. But I finally found it, and I brought it on over. It's, it's probably one of, my, one of my most memorable covers, especially when it comes to Don the Dragon Wilson. Um, is this one, Blood Fist 3, this is the laser disc, uh, right here, the laser disc is not inside, it can't even, it, the laser disc can't even stay in here, it's because it's all kind of like crusted over, like, you know, laser disc won't even stay inside, but I do have it, still do have the laser disc, but Don the Dragon Wilson signed it right here, Don the Dragon, right there, I think that's pretty, pretty damn killer. That's everything I got signed today, uh, over there at Dragon Fest, had a good old time. If you guys don't know about, you know, Blood Fist 3, this is the one with Don the Dragon Wilson goes, goes to jail, and uh, co-stars co alongside Richard Roundtree, the original Shaft uh, in that movie. I just think it's kind of cool to get a laser this signed by the man, but uh, yeah, it was really fun going on over the Dragon Fest, it always is every year, you know, getting to meet, you know, and hang out with Cynthia Rothrock, Don the Dragon Wilson, Benny the Jed Ukides, S seeing, seeing them have seminars. You know, teach a you know teach a class for about an hour. You know, I think that that stuff was bad ass. You know, I mean, how often do you see that kind of stuff at conventions? But um, I had a great time. Hopefully, you had a good time watching this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button right there. And if you guys want to support the museum and help them, you know, 
keep keep the martial art history alive. You can by donating to their martial art history museum in the link in the description box uh, to their website and stuff if you want. But I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Michael Matsuda, thank you for always inviting me to Dragon Fest. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you on the next one.